think Malik gave us that spark. Um, you know, we had a couple of drops on one drive that he could have kept the drive line, missed the field goal. I really don't think we punted when he was in the game. Uh, so we did some pretty good things. He missed some things in the red zone, which is to be anticipated with it really being his first significant time. Did you talk to Everett or how was the message passed on? I just told him we were, we were mixing things up and uh, going to give Malik a chance to, to get the offense moving. How did he respond to that? Like anybody else would when they're taken out of the game and they're the starter. It seemed like Florida State down to the water and then you have a game like this. Has it been a real happening season for you? No, I mean, we, we knew we were shorthanded. Um, you know, we've lost a lot of players on defense uh, over the last five weeks. It's been a very difficult uh, run for us, you know, with key players on defense and having to play so many young freshmen on defense. We just haven't been able to stop, you know, anybody. And it's been a difficult run for us. Um, so, you know, we knew, we, we knew that uh, it's going to be an uphill run when you lose as many uh, key players and then having to play as many freshmen as we've had to play on the defensive side of the ball. I thought we played pretty good, uh, you know, most of the year. Today we, uh, you know, we thought we had some things early on that, that we didn't execute on. Um, and and uh, that's why we made a change to quarterback position. Uh, but got down 21 and uh, made, made for obviously an uphill. Fun today. Yeah, I, I really will need some time before I make any decisions on the board. Look, this, this is not just a quarterback situation. You know, we we need uh, we can't remember to lose sight of today. We, we have to remember where we are after today's loss. I mean, uh, you know, it's a red letter day for our football players. Uh, coaches alike. Uh, two years ago, we were playing for a national championship. Um, today, we, we got our butts beat, and it wasn't as close as the score. Uh, I thought Coach uh, was very generous today running the football uh, to keep the score where it was. Um, but having said that, uh, we got a lot of young players, uh, and I'm very confident uh, as to where they want to go. And they want to get better, and um, we expect to be back in the spot we were a couple of years ago. But you know, we're going through a tough spot right now. Brian, is Everett fully healthy? I know he's clear, but two weeks ago. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no physical limitations. Any early word on the five defensive players? Yeah, uh, we got a broken rib uh, with Redfield. Uh, we're getting an MRI to make sure that we don't have a laceration. Uh, to the liver or spleen. Uh, we've got a high ankle sprain on Jay Hayes. We have a, a brachial plexus uh, that never came back for strength purposes on um, on uh, Matuska. Matuska. Yeah. Uh, who else? Martini. Uh, Graham had a quad that just couldn't couldn't shake that, couldn't get him back in the game.